conference. So it's I'm, so a monitoring spirit is called a masquerading spirit as well, or a watcher. It can be sent by another demon, <laughs> a witch, or anyone <laughs> with the spiritual know how. You understand what I'm saying? It's real. Mm. It's real. When I say it's real, because when I break this thing down even more, y'all going to understand what's been attacking you and what's going on in your household right now. What's going on with your husband, with your children, with your friend, with your co-worker. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the spirits monitor who, what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I need to say that again? They monitor what you do, how you do it, mm. what you say, and who your friends or um and who your friends are, all right? They monitor who your friends are. They so they checking you out. They figuring out your patterns, all right? So and it's also an evil, uh, an evil spirit or demon that monitors your behavior mm. for the purpose for the purpose of inflicting hurt yeah. into your mm -hmm. life. Okay. So their purpose, these monitoring spirits, guys, is their purpose is to gather information to facilitate spiritual attacks, steal your blessings, infect you with sickness, mm -hmm. sabotage your success, and more, more than anything, just wreak havoc in your lives. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay? Monitoring spirits they manipulate your dreams, <clears throat> causing patterns to recur, uh, to recur, like um, eating. So the, uh, I, I, when I, when I was hearing these other pastors teach on the word, other prophets teach on this, they were talking about if you dreaming about eating something that in your dream that you are, or somebody feeding you something, you are entering into a covenant with the demon. Hmm. And so the thing about it is when you wake up. You got to renounce that thing. You got to cast it down. You got to uh, rebuke it. You got to, Lord, whatever. You Y'all y'all get the picture. Mm. And so in your dreams, it may manipulate you to having sex with somebody. It can, honey, it can even be your, your husband. And it's a familiar spirit. So what they try to do, that demon is trying to come to you as a person that you know and love mm. in your dream and get you to come into agreement with it. Mm. Right? So now you don't enter into a covenant, all right? A, an evil covenant. So it can be your ex boyfriend, ex wife, ex you know husband, um, even somebody you don't crush on. You know what I'm saying? Um, you being chased by an animal, guys. I'm just saying if you're having these types of dreams, I need to. We need to. We need to put a mark on it. Amen. All right. Um, I mean. It, even down to combing someone's hair. This stuff is crazy. These things that come to you and just doing different things, uh, seeing shadows or seeing. So, you know, these are some of the things that, you know, that are show up and how these monitoring spirits are coming around here. So let me just tell you, it, know, it knows the generation. It knows your generational curses, misfortunes and behavior patterns and demises of your family. It knows everything that it's been following you. When mm -hmm. Stephon told y'all, it, it started that thing is a, assigned to you early on, right? And we don't know this because what 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 ticks me off, and I was just saying this, I'm like we're learning all this stuff now. When these um, there are many a pastors that be, knows this, and have not taught it that we can be, that we can you know protect ourselves and get right with God early on. It creates the same cycles, seasons and patterns of destruction in your life, in your finances, in your relationships, in your business, in ministry, and in your health. Do y'all hear me? It creates the same cycle of destruction. And that's why you were like, How, why am I keep, keep, I continue to keep um, repeating this? I keep repeating this. And so people find themselves and they'll come for some help. You know what? Will you pray for me? You know, and then the next thing you know, a year later, they in the same, you are still in the same situation or worse. <clears throat> because for some reason, again, I told y'all about that cycle of, of redemption. 
when you pray, you get yourself together, you get the answer, and you keep, you know, and you'll be like, for a, for just for a moment, you'll be all right. But then they think after a while, you forget what you just went through. You forget what you promised God. You forget the prayers, you know. And then so now, again, that monitoring spirit is is right there watching what you say, who you saying it to, who you know, even providing these thoughts, you know, offering these thoughts to you. And saying because of the fact that, you know, they offer these thoughts according to the way that we're operating in our lives. Mm -hmm. If you are holy, holy, and you, look, God, I, I ride or die with you for, forever, what can they offer you in your spirit? Nothing. Well, not on a regular. They can try. But right. most of them, they already know that they can't even come to you. That's right. I say even down to the fact, fact that when people call me, I know they want what I have, which is the word of God which is Jesus, okay? Um, so have you ever noticed repeated spiritual warfare manifesting in your life? Have you ever? So now I want you guys to just think about it because you're going to have to. You're going to have to think about these things that keep repeating in your life and that is just really, you know, working working your nerves and wreaking havoc in your life. And you're wondering why. And it's because too, again, what you're doing when, when, when God uh, freed the people from Egypt, and you know they were they had to be wandering in the wilderness for forty years. Then they get to you know start mur murmuring and complaining and ready to return back to Egypt. Mm. Is that you? Mm. Do you want to go back in bondage? Mm -mm. Mm. And there are some signs a familiar spirit can be at work in your life. Identifying where the familiar spirits are at work in your life will help you uh, in relinquishing their attacks. You got to know what they are. You got to know where they are, where they're showing up. All right. So identification, depression around uh, around the anniversary of the death of a loved one. Oh, my God. When I tell you when people be posting that kind of stuff and and people used to think that I was heartless, you know, because I'm like, you know, the world tells us let the big, big dead bury the dead. No way to say now. <laughs> And when I tell you, when you get depressed every time somebody's birthday come around, right? It's crazy. You know, if you carrying on, you can't get out of bed, and you know, I'm so sad. That's a monitoring. That's a familiar spirit. That's a monitoring spirit. Now they paying attention to you, so now they know that. Oh, every time Mama birthday come around, yeah, she they're gonna get depressed. Mm. So ask that for I know he thought I was heartless, even when I didn't understand these things, when his mom passed, and I knew how much he loved his mother. You know, but he was running out there to that grave. Mm -mm. Every, when I, when, at one point, it was like almost every day, every, we went to every week, and birthdays, and, and all of this. I said, your mom is not out there. Exactly. Your God gave me that to give to him. Your mom is not out there. Right. Yeah, Brown mm -hmm. said that happy heavenly birthday gets me every time. I understand. <laughs> I understand, baby. Okay. Crazy. And so, but that's that monetary spirit, knowing that you guys gonna get depressed. And so that thing, I don't know. Some people come out of it. You know, somebody have to say something to get you out of how long it's gonna take you, or how long does it take you to to bounce back from that depressive stage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it around the holidays? And oh my God, they selling this in the they selling this in the business industry out here in the world when the holiday come around they tell you this is the most time when people get sad and mm -hmm. they're putting mm -hmm. that in your spirit mm -hmm. that's it a holiday that is important for you but a couple of weeks before the holiday you find yourself struggling with sickness um let me see dissension in your relationship you start getting now you're getting falling out with your spouse um or financial strain this thing started, it, I mean, it's looking, it don't figure out your patterns and how it can attack you uh, during holidays, birthdays, mm. uh, and all that. And you notice around your birthday or anniversary, a month before receiving conflict, job loss, or marriage problems. I'm telling you, these demons are at work because they've been monitoring you, all right? No matter how hard you try to pay off that bill, <laughs> of those bills and get financially ahead that um that the enemy attacks that that those attacks keep coming because of the fact that they know because of the words that you're speaking i can't get ahead every time i turn around mm -hmm. something you know if it ain't one thing it's another i'm like 
oh, let me just put up this money for a rainy day. You're going to always have a rainy day. <laughs> That's true. Because once you true. get that money together, that enemy going to give it, give you a, a, a reason to spend it. All right. So guys, just think about it. Are you continually being attacked in your spirit? Familiar spirits can be prevented, canceled out, rebuked, all of that. When we pray on the, uh, this one right here got me. When you pray on the offense instead of the defense. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we talk about that uh, that that spirit of offense. And I told you, God told me months ago that this this was um like I guess back in before it got way before it got hot. I said that spirit of offense is running crazy. And so that way, so in the enemy, the monitoring spirits, the familiar spirits, whatever kind of wicked demon spirits that's running around in your life, is gonna always make you feel offended by something. Mm -hmm. Mm. you understand what i'm saying and so when it says so now when you got these things that have gone on in your life and you want to pray on the hurt and and all of this you you know no no you need to be praying against the so the defense is they hurt me well and so i got a right to feel this way mm -hmm. so now you want to defend all these things that you're doing so no you need to repent pray for the to get rid of that hurt because you are letting, letting the enemy just run rampant in your life when you just um, you just want to hold on and, and defend that hurt. You want to protect it. Mm. Isn't that crazy? That's, that's real. We do it every single day. I see it. I hear it. People would defend and protect a hurt um, or, 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 or some kind of damaging something that has happened to them to give them permission to stay in their place. Wow. So I want you to do this, guys. You need to go and list your list your uh, attacks. <laughs> um, let's see your month, event, reason, time of year, memories. You know, whatever month that it, you know, if it's a recurring thing that happens every year in, in the same month, <laughs> if it happened every month around the same time, if it happened every other month, y'all need to figure this thing out so you can get rid of it. Yeah. So if, it, if it's an event, if it's a reason, where if they hadn't never done this, if I haven't never been molested, I wouldn't be promiscuous out here. You know That's what I'm it. saying? That's it. And like, again, if it's a time of year, if it's a memory, well, you know, well, so and so, you know, let me see. I'm just trying to think as I, I really don't deal with that kind of stuff when I say, because that's when I tell you that, but I've been attacked by it. And when you live with somebody that has that kind of stuff going on, that thing show up, it will attack you like it's fighting you to <laughs> for dear life. Mm -hmm. Because now I had to start recognizing, and I my friends, my some of my ones on here tell you it was some things that were happening to my body that I said, Y'all, I am not accident prone. I've never been in a place like this before. And then I said, Lord, what is going on? I was hitting myself. I was bruising myself. Stuff was cutting me um, and everything. And so I said, God, what is it? He said, you're under spiritual attack. Mm. Said, spiritual attack. I'm like, that thing was fighting me like a person. And just understand that a spirit is, a, is, is just like us, but just without a body. Mm -hmm. All right. And it, and it comes for you by the words that you speak and by the things that you say, by the people that you hang around with, by the things that you say that you want to get rid of, that you don't, the promises you don't keep. God is a covenant God. And so every time you go up to him and he gives you the word, a promise, and lets you know that he, he's he got you, he's going to take care of you. And then you get comfortable in that place. You get comfortable of God taking care of you that he put people in your life to make sure that you are okay and good. And then you get laxy daisy and you give in to the dark gone monitoring spirit, the, mm -hmm. the monitoring spirits. See the monitoring spirits is the one that, that brings on all those other ones. Mm -hmm. Cause then I just tell you that they can invite, they can, they can, invite, they can send other demons to you because of what you're saying and what you're doing. So you're going to have to list your attacks. You're going to have to discern with the assistance of the Holy Spirit how long this has been happening. How long, guys? How long? Stefan told you he has been going on since 1980. All right? And he just now, it's 2023. He just now getting an understanding 
of why some of the things that that's happening to him and, and that some of the things that are happening to him keep happening. I put it that way. Mm-hmm. And guys, I'm telling you, it will mess up a relationship. So I know I got some married folk on here. And so it will hold you back from loving your spouse the way that you know that you really want to, you know? Yeah. And, and so, and when you feel like, when you get in that place where you're feeling like, oh, I don't feel loved and all of that, because I was in that place one time. I wasn't. I was like, God, why don't he love me? God said, he can't nobody love you. That's what he's talking about. God said, can't nobody love you more than me. After that, I was done with that. He didn't never hear me asking, why you don't love me? Do you love me? Yeah. Bye. That's a, that's a crazy familiar spirit that is in operation. And so I chose not to be affected by it anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because that thing was attacking me in that manner. So so that's a, we can talk about it. Look at your list and see if you can identify the um the earliest occurrence of repeated spiritual warfare attacks. So when is the earliest time that this start happening for you? After you have listed all you can remember, meditate, go before the Lord and think about what happened prior to whatever that that thing was. So it can be a year ago, it can be ten years ago, it can be twenty years ago. All right. If there was something traumatic, some type of traumatic event that occurred in your life, you know, you were abused as a child, you were molested, you know, you were affected by your parents' divorce or, you know, somebody that died um, or a place of sin or, or disobedience that you've been operating in. These are all these things. This gives the monetary spirits the direction on which to go in in your life. Oh, that's what they're thinking. Here, uh, lust spirit demon, come on in here. <laughs> okay, that's what they're doing. I know there's gonna be a hard pill for some people, <laughs> but it's okay because the time, the season, it, it like Stephan said, we can't play with this stuff. And the more they keep the enemy can keep us ignorant in this area, the more you're gonna your chances are good of going to hell. Amen. <laughs> All right. So if you can identify an entry point, ha. <laughs> Huh. And most of us, that entry point started at childhood. Man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you can identify an entry point or a root cause to the demonic infiltration, <laughs> that thing, don't, I like this thing trying to, that's when, when, when this, the, the years of marriage to, 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 to step on for those 12 years, I said, this thing is trying to take me out. But I refuse, honey, I told Veronica, I'm a book. <laughs> all day long, <laughs> all day, every day, baby. And when that thing, I was like, being a book saved my life. You understand? It saved my life, but also, but, but what really saved my life? I'm talking about in times when I had to defend myself, you know. But when the real time to defend myself, God stepped in and took over because I had already, you know, connected and um, just had, um, you know, enhanced my relationship with God, and so now. He is my protector. So that's where you guys want to get to. So um, so you want to get to the root cause of the dem- demonic infiltration in your life. Repent of the activity or make sure you have released, released the grief. Mm-hmm. Grief is a spirit. Spirit mm-hmm. of grief, guys. Mm-hmm. Monitoring spirit. A fam- you know, that familiar spirit becomes familiar now because that's the way you live in your life every mm-hmm. year, every day, every week, every month in grief because of somebody, some loved one. And what I want you all to understand, just know that again, when, when, you know, when we take ownership of things like our parents, well, our parents take ownership of us or we take ownership of our kids um, and different things or whatever we take ownership of, um, we take away the power from God to be Mm -hmm. do. We need to continue to let him be in ownership. And let him direct us in how to take care of that thing that we own, right? Mm-hmm. And so when you lose a loved one, you just know that uh, either their time was up, so and just depending on how their lives were le- lived, if it was a premature death or whatever. So the only thing that you can do is be in that place where you're um, actually just walking things out, you know, and according to the word, let the Holy Spirit lead you, so you won't be, you know, falling for that that grief. That shame, because when you don't done some things, then when you come to your senses, then you are shame. 
you know, and that's what they, that the enemy wants you to be shameful, that spirit of shame, guilt, you know, a self condemnation of the thing that happened. All right. And mm -hmm. so we want you to just understand and know what all these things are. So, so you want to pray, um, pray on the offense again, you know, when, when I said you just want to, you want to pray on the offense, which is to hurt the illegal act committed against you, the anger that you're walking away or walking around in, the bitterness, the unforgiveness, and the attacks. So you want to just repent of those things. You know what I'm saying? So don't pray against me. Like, well, the only reason why I'm hurt, you, you don't want to be operating in the defense, safeguarding, protecting, mm -hmm. resisting the attack, you know, the attacks. Your feelings, you you want vindication. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now you want to pray against those things. You just want to pray and be released from that that hurt, that anger, that bitterness, and that unforgiveness. Y'all get me? Amen. Get me? Amen. All right. So um, so um, I want you guys. We want to get to the place where you can pray, so we can eliminate, so God can eliminate these familiar spirits and annihilate. I like that word, annihilate. I'm talking about destroy. <laughs> Uh, obliterate. I want. I just want God to tear it up, blow it to smithereens. The demon, uh, the demonic attacks from um, repeatedly, from you know, from being repeatedly in your life. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, guys, and the last thing I just want to say is just about just repenting of any sin and ask the Lord to forgive you. Turn away from those wicked ways and don't and don't return back to Egypt. All right. Don't keep going back to that sinful place. And when you feel like you're in a struggle, just go to God. You got praise. That's a that you know you. You know you got weapons. You have weapons. You got pray. I, I mean, when I was going through, I I told y'all. Well, I said it on Tuesday. Um, I said I get in the middle. Of, I used to get in the middle of the floor and just praise. Turn on my praise song, honey. It was a. That was a war cry. And that's the other thing. God wants you to audibly say it. Cause you need that the 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 enemy and the the spirits those wicked spirits need to hear you speaking against them, praying against them. That they want to keep you quiet, so they want so you know you they won't hear you. She, oh she ain't got no power, she ain't really saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you saying it on the inside. Mm -mm, say that thing audibly. Mm -hmm. Say it so they can hear it and they can get to they can get get the stepping. Okay, and and most of all, guys, forgive yourself. Man. Forgive yourself for anything you participated in, which opened the door. You know, forgiving um, others, also forgive others who have been involved in the events. So it's a, it's a, it's 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 very simple, but it's kind of complex because we didn't know that those things needed to be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what makes it so. You identify the dates, the cycles, the seasons, the months of the attacks, and so that way that you know when you know they're coming. Uh, you got something for them, and you're gonna be Amen. praying, and praising. You're gonna pray deep, all right. And Amen. I'll... All right. Uh, Praise the Lord! Wow. Awesome. Amen. Okay, let's let's keep moving forward with him, man. Sister Kathy, thank you. Why? You know what? Uh, boy, I was sitting here thinking, "Ooh, my Amen, Amen." Listen, mm -hmm. uh, let's let me keep moving here. Uh, as she was saying, identify the dates. Here's the here's how here's the breaking of soul ties and we're gonna pray. Confess your sinfulness and of arrangements. See, we made some arrangements with some of these people. We made some spiritual arrangements we had no clue of. I had to go back and confess my sin. Lord, forgive me for for entering into a covenant with that. Amen. Extend forgiveness to those who who, who wronged you. Lord, I forgive them. I had to, I, it was hard for me to do that. And she was just saying, cut off all, cut off, and this, this is what she was just saying, cut off and eradicate all instruments of connection. Like as I said, jewelry, pictures, clothes, shoes, throw all this stuff away. Renounce all spiritual contracts made by rituals. I was pledging a fraternity. I didn't know that was a ritual. I did not know that I was, ladies, if you in sororities and you yes, and you all play sororities and brother, you play fraternity, that's a ritual we had to go through. I had no clue. I thought it was fun. I'm <laughs> going to get a brand. I'm going to get get branded on my arm and wear my colors proud. 
I didn't know I was taking a ritual. I was a mason. And boy, when I tell you the money, that ritual was so demonic. My wife told me when I came home one night after the first ritual, when I when she opened the door and let me out, she said, boy, you look like you just saw a demon. And I couldn't even say nothing. I just shook my head like, wow. Number four, number five, renounce all spiritual contracts, uh, rituals, ceremonies, and cults and religions. Some of us get tired of to these churches. Some of us get tied up to these church leaders and we think they they don't stink. Oh, that he, oh, they good, they cool. Just because they're leading the church, that don't mean they cool for you. Mm. Number five, establish new healthy associations. Replace the replace all the damage that has been done with healthy things, with people who like this. This is healthy for us. This call, listen, this call every Saturday morning is it, healthy for us. We are learning more than we have ever learned since we've been a Christian. God is showing us how much he loves us. He don't want us to, he don't want us to, to fall to nowhere, shape, form, or fashion. And when he do, he come, and if, when we do fall to, he comes back with something like this. This is what's going on with you. So you can't keep repeating the cycle over and over, as sister just said. Thank you, God. Thank you. Now I'm like, okay, wow. Number six, disregard all objects and physical connections with the devil bonds. Let these people go. They'll be okay without you. Amen. They'll be okay without you. Where am I? Where, okay. All okay, right. Number seven, declare and un declare an unfolding, an unfailing soul with God. Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that I will not fail in this part of my life with this no more. I'm giving it all to you. You have, you have given me, listen, you have given me the revelation of why I keep missing it on this part right here. Everything else you might be doing great, but it's just one part that you keep missing, that we keep missing it on. Amen? And we can declare that unto God. Okay. Let's pray. If you want to, you can repeat after me. Or if you want to, you can just listen. But pray, pray in your spirit and your heart. Amen. We're going to renounce. Uh -huh. yes, before, we, before we do the renouncing, can yes. we just get some comments from the platform so we can see what we, um, uh, making sure everybody's in agreement with us and everything of what God is speaking in the spirit here. Um, definitely soul ties is something that a lot of people don't have understanding on it. But um, after the teaching, uh, speaking this morning, we want to just open up the platform to give people liberty to say, okay, now I understand why. Okay. Amen. Now I see Amen. why. So Amen. after doing that, we will do the renouncing that you know that you will lead in, uh, everyone into. But we want to open the platform and give everyone the opportunity to speak. And if you need more understanding, we're definitely going to be available for that because it is so real, you all. It is very Amen. real. It's yes. so real. It's it's a weight. And the, the word says, lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily beset us and keep running the race. And a lot of times you don't know why you weigh down. It's because, again, these ties that we have, soul ties, you know, um, it's real, y'all. It's very yes. real. Amen. So the, Amen. It, the platform is open. If anyone have any questions, comments, or want to get a little better understanding, please say speak now. It's a place of liberty. Um, Go ahead. Okay, I want to say I, 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 from the video that you showed us the other day, and it, it, it kind of opened up well, it did open up my mind to what what he was saying, because you know, some I had to do something that hurt me so bad for a while. I had to denounce things in my life, you know, and so to to do what I had to do hurt me real bad. But I understand why I had to do it, and I didn't lose no sleep over it. You know, I had to do it because I know that that was a weight to me. And for a minute, I started falling into it, but I had to snap out of it because I knew it wasn't good for me. But I understood what it meant. And I know that God, I know it's working out for my good. Amen. For me to renounce, you know, 
something so close to me like that, you know, mm -hmm. to not know where they're going to be living or who, you know, I, it just, it was a wait for me, but I believe yesterday I got a release from it. Amen. Mm -hmm. But now I understand what, what, what it means, what the weights are. Amen. Let Amen. him go. Let it go. <laughs> That's God's business. That ain't even yours. You gotta let God do it. You know, sometimes we want to control people. That's a that's a form of control and that's a form of witchcraft as well. Because we feel like yeah. we still gotta put our hand on it. Yeah. That is not of God. That is not of God. That is a form of witchcraft. You we were rebelling to what God said. And so when we don't follow the word of God, we still do we still all up in our emotions. We still holding on to stuff that we know we don't supposed to be doing. So you're going to feel that brief. Like I can say, here it is, that monetary spirit say, okay, let me let this happen so she can get she can get depressed. Hold up, I ain't getting depressed about it. I said, that ain't even my problem. Okay. Mm. We, we're not, I ain't doing that. No, you can say it and you ain't finna, you're not going to do that one to me. I'm good. So when you understand who you really are in Christ, and again, you got to get truly delivered from these ties, you all, I'm telling you, you got to get delivered from them because if not, they're going to keep coming back. got to let it go. You got to let it go so that you can walk in liberty, the liberty of Jesus Christ. He's given us to us, you all. We have authority. But you got to accept who he is in your life and stop Amen. holding on to all of this other junk. It's junk, y'all. It is junk. It's junk. After Amen. Stefan and I talked on the other day, y'all, the Holy Spirit you know, it wasn't just for me. His conversation wasn't just for me. Him, it was for me as well. And the Holy Spirit showed me something just in the spirit that quick. And I was like, hold on. Oh, no. That ain't going to hold on to me. And I did exactly what the Spirit, he said, cut all ties. Mm -hmm. Cut out. God said, cut all ties, y'all. You know get the number. Right? He said, get the number at your phone. Get it okay. up. Block the number. Don't play with that spirit. Because mm. it's monitoring you. It don't Ooh. want you to go forward. Ooh. It don't want you to go. So Satan knows. He knows our life, y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know he, that's why they are monitoring spirits. So when we get weak, he said, okay, let me send that one over there to her. She ain't going to do what she's supposed to do. Mm. You get right, I just want to respond to what you said. Like mm -hmm. when you were saying that you instantly got it right. I got God quit. told you to remove that thing out your phone, the number. But guess what we'll do? Oh, uh, that, that that that's not that's not harmful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh yes, it is. Know, she just call, uh, if she or he just call, I just um just block it or take it. It, it says we need to be obedient all the way. Partial dis partial disobedience is total disobedience. Amen. 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 And, you know, it, I shared that with Margaret, and Margaret had the number two. And she said, "Well, if it's attached to you, it can't be attached to me." That's let right. me get let me get this out of my phone. That's what she said. And she said, "I'm oh, blocking man. all of that." That was wisdom. Yeah, I'm blocking boy. all of that. Okay. <laughs> she said, "If, she if, it, Holy if it's attacking you, that means it's gonna try to come through me to get to you still." I mm -hmm. see how that thing do. Is these demons? They they are cunning mm -hmm. and crafty, y'all. They're manipulative. They know how to get to you. But now that God is opening our ears to the yeah. spirit, we know what to do. Can't play with it. You cannot play with it. Stuff is real. Yeah. And we want this to be our winning season. Yes. We want this to be our, okay. We want this to be our winning season. We yes. have to do this. Yes. Because you will keep losing. You know, yeah. or you just want, you will not get past a certain point. Amen. Yeah. You know, because again, we're talking about these spirits that are monitoring you, uh, monitoring us to kind of see, to see, you know, just how strong your faith is. Oh, okay. That's it. Ooh, oh, she weak. Jesus. Right oh, he weak right there. Let me, um, yeah. Oh, let, Jesus. Let's um, go on and slip this in here. Oh, and, Jesus. And I think it's minor. It's major. You know, but that's a minor thing. So just like a mustard seed, how tiny it is. You know, and that's how our faith needs to be. And we do need to plant, we need to plant it in the ground so it can grow real big and wide. Amen. So other folk can, other, like, like the birds, they come to the um, mustard seed tree, they can come and feed off of it. Amen. And so you have disbelief that the size of them is spread and wide. 
That's why all these doggone spirits have a place to live. Oh, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. And when somebody tell you they have a spirit, they tell you they're the devil. When they tell you that they have legions, you know what I'm saying? And so that's when you know that they are really taking over. And this actually happened, guys. So when somebody can tell you that they have legions, say it out of their mouth. They said it. <laughs> that demon was real. It's getting real bold. That means, like, you know, you better step all the way back and let, because can't no, you can't fight. You cannot fight that spirit. <laughs> Those spirits, legions are thousands, mm -hmm. if not millions. <laughs> Amen. 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 Anybody else? Thank you for sharing, Sister Gloria. We go. Uh, we gonna keep. I saw we, Tanya had um unmuted. Okay, all go right. ahead, Tanya. Tanya, did you have something, sweetie? Not La Tanya, but Tanya. Tanya S. Okay, so may maybe she's. Uh, Brown was saying I maybe... did by accident. Oh, okay. okay. I did right. by accident. Sorry. Okay. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, Brown was saying they will keep appearing. Yes, they will, girl, until you get free from them, until you recognize. Okay, I see what this is. Uh, Vicky said, cut all ties. Uh, Brian would say, Ouch, amen. Come on and bless, come on now and bless me. All right, now we that's what it's about, <laughs> y'all. Get free, man. We, we have work to do. We got he told he commissioned us to go out, y'all. We can't be going out with all this stuff connected to us. We gotta let it right. go. We gotta let, let it go. That's right. And guys, don't sit here and not say anything. If you got if you got an unction in your spirit, yes, you know, to say something, say so. What Veronica said earlier, let the redeemer of the Lord say, say so. so. Come on, y'all. You know, let that thing out so that way that, that that spirit won't be sitting there, you know, holding you holding you hostage. Hostage in bondage. Right. Amen. Um, I want to say something. Uh God is just so amazing. Uh when you make up in your mind.